The true followers of the Christ, they are Muslim. Allah said in the Quran that Allah's intention is to make things easy for you. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Adinu Yusru, the deen, the religion of Allah, it's very easy. It's making easiness to your life. People make show off. They even get the loan to make a party. And just to show off that people can praise you that you are something. And later you are become under the debt. What Islam teaches. Even if it is marriage party, whatever you can afford, you can do. That's all. No need to make show off. People, they make show off and they make their life is terrible. Whatever the Islam teaches us is the best way for our life. For example, one of the things which Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he asked the protection of Allah is laziness. One of the things which Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he asked the protection of Allah from the laziness. <clears throat> Today the last two people are getting sick because of laziness. Eating and sitting down, no walking. No exercise, no activity in the life. Even for the short distance, they want to use a car. So it's causing us lots of diseases. People are, today are feeding themselves with the lots of medicines. A small problem, antibiotic. A small problem, they started to take lots of medicines. And medicines has no cure. Most of the medicines has no cure, but only prolong. For example, a person gets the diabetics. Why? Because his lifestyle. He always sitting down. When he sits down, the shaitan disturb him because the prophet teaches not to be free yourself. The free mind is a devil's factory. Busy yourself. That's the teachings of Islam. To make yourself busy, the man should be busy, woman should be busy, nobody should be free. And if you are free, remember Allah. Don't let shaitan to devi deviate you from the right way. So person, he has a very bad lifestyle. He keep on eating. And the diet for us is not healthy today. We are eating white rice, white bread. No fiber, no nutrients, no minerals and no vitamins. Because the white rice looks beautiful, but it's not healthy. White bread looks beautiful, but it's not healthy. And the food we eat is full of chemicals, which are the poisonous chemicals. The medicine we eat, the lots of medicine are poisons. Even the right on the medicine is poison, but slow poison. When you get an infection, medical science said that your body has a blood cell, which is the red blood cell and the white blood cell. When you get infection in your body, Allah makes the system in your blood, the white blood cell will increase will multiply it. Why? Because the medical science said the white blood cells are like a police of our body. They fight against disease. So your body will increase the white blood cells. It will be in millions times will increase in your body. So what do you do when you go and doctor gives you antibiotic? The antibiotic will attack on your white blood cell to bring down the white blood cell. So it make me can sure immunity. Next time, Antibiotic will not be more effective. The next time, no more effective. And then time will come, the antibiotic has resistance in your body, it will not affect you anymore. Because your immunity gets and weak. What are you supposed to do if it is mild infection? No need for antibiotic. Drink lots of water to remove the infection. Get the fresh air. Go in the sunshine. Make some uh, activity to busy yourself. And now the diabetics, what happened? When the bad lifestyle, lots of thinking, too much stress, and you keep on increasing your sugar in your blood. <clears throat> and what you do now, you go to the doctor, and doctor gives you a medicine to lower down your sugar. Like metformin or uh, glucose, uh, some other kind of medications to lower down your sugar. Rather, you should not go and take the medicine. You should start some gym or activity, running, walking, stop thinking. And have a proper diet. No sugar, less sugar, brown sugar, honey, fruits, no white sugar, no white rice, no white bread, 
brown sugar, uh, brown sugar, brown rice, and brown brown flour, brown bread. No need for the uh, diabetic medicine because it will make you depend on that. So every day you take the medicine to lower down your sugar until the time you are depend on a diabetic medication. If you stop diabetic medicine now, your sugar will go up. You take medicine, sugar will go down. Until the time the doctor will switch you into insulin. No more. Your blood sugar, your blood, your diabetic medicine is not useful for you. Doctor has to switch you on the insulin. You keep on taking insulin. And one day, the doctor will cut your arm and will cut your feet. Or either you will die with this diabetics. My business is medicine. But I have to speak the truth. Not all medicines are good. Tell me the one patient in the world today who goes to the hospital and doctors and they go to the medical and they cure the diabetics. Even one patient in the world. Not even one. Hundreds of millions of people. It could be a one billion people in the world, they have a diabetics. And they keep on taking medicine, not one is cured. Kaiti sang tao na galing? No. Not one person who has a diabetics, he was get rid of diabetics because of the medicines. Medicines is not curing you. Asthma is not cured by the medicines. The high blood pressure is never cured by the medicine. People take all life the high blood pressure medicine. What is the cure of the high blood pressure? The cure is don't angry. Be happy. Proper diet, running, jogging, exercise. Not medication. Asthma, why you get asthma? Because you are always staying in the aircon. You don't get the fresh air, no fresh oxygen. When you go outside, there is no more uh, good atmosphere because you come out in the 10 o'clock. When you must, uh, there is no, and lots of pollution everywhere. But nobody is getting cured with asthma, with high blood pressure, or with hypertension, or with diabetics, no cures. But if you go to the Islamic medicine, everything has a cure. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Allah did not bring down any disease, but Allah sent down the uh, cure for this. So our Prophet said, every disease has a cure. If Allah created the disease, He created the dawa. But we are getting wrong medications. For example, Allah make a very beautiful vegetable. What this vegetable is? Ampalaya. You have a diabetics? Day and night, eat ampalaya. Drink the juice of ampalaya. That your food should have ampalaya. Keep on eating, running, jogging, exercise. You will get rid of your diabetics. Bismillah. But if you put on sure your medicine, you take medicine for 10 years, and then you go on insulin, one day your arms, your legs might be cut, amputated. Or you might die with coma. You might lose your eyes. So we are in a very big um, mess today because we keep on feeding us the medicines. And most of the medicines are not curing, but they are compounding our diseases. Sometimes you get a little cure and you think it is effective, but you get the new three diseases with the medicine. Because even the, the most safest medicine considered today, most safest, what is the safest medicine in the world today? Paracetamol. Paracetamol is going to consider is the safest medicine in the world today. And if you check the side effects, many side effects even with paracetamol. But Islam suggests us the good medicine. Honey. Thick part of your diet is honey. Black seed. In the Philadelphia University in America, they make the sativa from the black seed, which is recommended by the Prophet Muhammad and it can cure the most dangerous uh, Cancer, which is pancreatic cancer. Philippines has a very good medicine. Guebano. Guebano, the fruit. There are some medicines in other country. They make it from the, they call it in English, sore soup. And they make some extract from the guebano that can cure, cure the cancer. You take the guebano, Druids? That is the anti-cancer medicine. <clears throat> Malunga is a very nice uh, medication in Philippines. It has lots of iron and it can cure many diseases. Prophet Muhammad he gave us a list of medicines which we can research and work to make medicines without side effects and which can cure the diseases for the world. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment.